Hello, this is David Jones with Queen City Toastmaster. I'd like to show you how to be the Toastmaster of the night or Toastmaster of the day. This is a person who's in charge of the meeting, who leads it, who introduces everyone, who's in charge of the time, and basically just controls everything for the meeting once the president hands it over to them. And it's an intimidating role because it is um, probably the biggest role there is because you're active throughout the whole meeting. You can't just turn off your camera and, and go get something to drink. You all have to be there the whole time watching what's going on and keeping track of everything. It is intimidating, but there's an easy way to do it. And you're allowed to have cheat sheets because you're the Toastmaster. And the first thing you do as Toastmaster is come up with a theme. So your theme might be balloons. And once you come up with the theme, you're gonna to wanna to let your grammarian know because they're gonna do word of the day. So their word of the day might be helium. And then you'll wanna let your table topics master also know your theme of the meeting balloons. And they'll ask different questions about balloons or balloon rides or something like that. So the theme goes throughout the whole meeting. And then once you start talking, you're gonna be talking about balloons and different, I guess, topics on balloons. You just wanna keep everything the meeting that way. It just makes it more fun and interesting um, if you keep it as the same topic to everybody. Now, once you sign up as the Toastmaster of the night, it's your game. You know, you're, you're in charge. You're going to need to make sure that you fill all the roles. You're going to have to go onto the um, agenda on a regular basis and check and see what roles are not filled and start networking. You have to start reaching out to some members and trying to get them filled. And because you want to have a successful meeting as a Toastmaster, and the only way you can have a successful meeting is to make sure all the roles are filled. Now, I'm going to go ahead and show you the first step you want to do. Um, stop. Hmm. Where is my share screen? I don't see a share screen here. Oh, right here where it says, you know, share screen. <laughs> so I'm going to share my screen and show you where I'm at. Um, boom, let's get out of here. All right. So here we are at our website. I've already logged on and you want to go to your meeting agendas. Boom there. And it's just going to go as slow as humanly possible. Hello. Okay. Now here is tonight's meeting. Tonight is over. It's not over, but you know what I mean? Anyways, so right here is where you want to go. So here, this one, all the roles are filled because we've had all of our speakers, our evaluators, everybody here is filled. So what you're going to want to do is go to print, right? And then say, okay, I don't care. And then you're going to print the meeting. And you're going to get a printout like this. I already printed mine out so we can follow along. No, I'm not going, I'm going to go ahead and cancel, but you can see what it's going to look like. And that's what I have right here. And that's what you want to have. Oh, I don't know why I'm looking over here. I'm looking at myself. You're going to want to have this printed out for the meeting so you can follow it and I'll show you why. Because you can see here that at 6.30 call the, the meeting to order and then you know Sergeant of Arms says whatever he says and then he goes here's our president and the president starts talking and about 6.34 I should be handing the meeting over to you to the Toastmaster and that's what you're going to want to do as the Toastmaster is follow this. All you have to do is follow this this guideline right here. And this is going to tell you, okay, you're going to talk for a couple minutes. You're going to say, hey, tonight's theme is balloons. And you're going to say something fun and interesting about balloons. And then at 636, if there's a joke master or inspirational speaker is when you're going to want to introduce them and say, um, first up is our joke master of the night. Here's Bob. Please welcome Bob. And he's going to do it. And you can see right here, 6.36 is when he starts. He should be done by 6.37, which means he has one minute. It should be a quick speech. And then you're going to start recognizing your role. Say, I'm not the only one here working tonight. I have some helpers that are going to help me. And we're going to start with our grammarian. And by 6.37, you should introduce a grammarian. The grammarian has a minute to explain their role. And then you're going to move on down. We don't have a ballot counter, but you do have the timer. So you're going to want to introduce the timer and no videographer. So by 642 is when you, so you have space to talk and give interesting tidbits about balloons, but by 644, you need to have introduced your first speaker and they're gonna start, start talking and doing their speech. 
And as soon as they're done, and you can see the speeches are about five to seven minutes. Hers was a um, icebreaker, but you can see how you have what uh, six, you don't have a lot of time in between. So you wanna have the speaker go, you do your speaker. And then for whatever reason, it's not on here, um, but don't forget at the end of giving the speaker, you wanna ask for a timers report. I don't know why, we're gonna have to fix that. But anyways, you're gonna want to, um, after the speeches, say great speeches, can I get a timer's report? And then the president or whoever is working it will pull up the poll. Then you wanna introduce the table topics master. Now, once you introduce a table topics master, you have a break for a few minutes because now they're in charge of the meeting. You're, you're kind of giving up the meeting to the table topics master and he's gonna run the meeting for three or four minutes or three or four questions. And that's why you'll hear the table topics master say, hey, do we have time for one more meeting or one more question? You as a Toastmaster are going to look here and say, you know, I need to introduce the general evaluator at 716. So if it's 713, then yeah, you can do one more. But if we're at 716, 717, then you say, no, that's all the time we have as a Toastmaster. It's your job to keep the meeting on time and on schedule. Then you can just see all you're doing is going through. And usually what I do is I have this and I'm checking it off. And um, so you can just see everything is right here. So you're General evaluator should have given all the speech and then they're going to turn it back to you at 729. So you have one minute to do of your clothing closing thoughts and um, then hand it back over to the president. But again, everything is right here. It's a cheat sheet and there's nothing wrong because if you're at a regular meeting, you know, the, the presenter is up there introducing different people and saying, hey, do you, you know, come up and give a speech? I hear so-and-so to talk about. So it's okay to have notes to uh, follow along. But being Toastmaster is fairly simple because you get to follow this. And I keep looking over here. Um, but it just seems overwhelming because you are on. You're on the whole time. You're always talking. I like to stand up during the meetings, but you don't have to, but it just depends on your energy and what you want to do. But, you know, I'm sitting here. I could be the Toastmaster just sitting here and I'd be fine, but I just prefer to stand up. And we're going to stop sharing. And that's really it for Toastmaster. And you can, it's your own personality. You know, you're talking about balloons or whatever your subject is. And just throughout the thing, you just keep giving different tidbits. And I know the first time I did it, well, I always thought there's no way in heck I was ever going to be Toastmaster because it was such a scary role, especially in the in-person meetings when you're sitting there and you see the Toastmaster up on stage and he's doing everything and he's walking around. And it was just I like, I will never, ever done. I've done it like 10 times now. <laughs> You'll get used to it. Um, but I'm glad you're doing it if this is your first time doing it. And it's um, just something you have to pay attention to. You just got to be on it all the time. Just have your meeting. And the other good thing about this is people tend to drop or you don't have roles filled. Just write it in. So you always, and I always write notes like what my theme is or if there's a guest that I want to talk to or whatever, you know, this is your little note sheet. But that's really it for being a Toastmaster of the night. Just bring your energy and follow the schedule and you'll be fine. So good luck and I hope to see you as the next Toastmaster.